Well, Congo Village, I, I've had a relationship with them for about four years. Um, it's quite a large Fulani uh, area and uh, they're in desperate need of, of more water. They have uh, one well up to now, but it covers that one pump has a service uh, a few thousand people, which is just far too many for one pump to be able to cope. In relation to how, how it helped uh, advance the gospel, I, I just think that's kind of self-evident. Uh, it's just a very practical need they have, and it's a need you know, we'd like to help with, uh, to, just to show them something practical of the love of God. probably just just over half a day really and we've hit large amounts of water which is a huge difference from where we uh, got at Conger. I <laughs> I was basically talking about uh, Jesus being the provider of the water of eternal life, uh, basically saying that they, they'll drink this water and they'll be thirsty again and again and again. It's always temporary, uh, but we have a deeper thirst which is spiritual.